I'll be writing my my notes down for the review, but I don't have any this time. I show on iPhone notes, so I've been doing it for a couple of days. I say usually it's only been like a couple of days, but yeah, I was getting into a habit of doing it, but not this time around. Reason being, um, actually no, I don't really know why I didn't really write anything down, but that wasn't for any reason in particular though. Anyway, I want to get into this review now. I had mm, around about slightly over five liters worth of water and I had a lot of food, but I am actually getting to a point where I'm starting to decrease my body weight, which is what I've been wanting to do for a while now. Over the past four days, I've dropped, decreased my body weight by around about one kg. The decrease has been gradual. It spiked sometimes, but that's completely fine. That's normal. After watching someone on YouTube who um, shows like calisthenics work, calisthenics workouts, and um, just gives tips of advice here and there, not tips of advice I was looking for, but tips of advice that I stumbled on as I watch calisthenics videos every now and then. I mean, I do do this stuff. It's within the name of the channel. I stumbled across a video with the way how al the algorithm recommends videos and. Um, he said that he got he got to a point where he was with his physique by writing down his body weight on a daily basis. Now, something after hearing that piece of advice, I started to do again. I've done it in the past before and doing it on a daily basis has seemed to work these past few days. And I'm taking his advice on board he he was talking about seeing um, the body weight from day to day sometimes being within for example the 70 kg range maybe 70 to 72 and then some days being maybe slight, slightly higher up from that point onward if if you wanted to do that if you wanted to decrease your weight in pursuit of building more strength and muscle then you definitely could go about weight gain through tracking your body weight on a daily basis. But I'd say writing down your weight on a daily basis is for anyone, in my opinion, because it sets the foundation to manage your weight, regardless of what you want to do, regardless of whether you want to maintain your body weight, gain weight, or decrease your weight. You, on the premise, if you track your body weight on a daily basis, will be making it at least easier to see if your efforts are actually working because obviously there are more than, there's more than just one way to track your body composition and if you're making the progress that you want to make not only through tracking and writing your weight down on a daily basis a daily everyday basis like how i'm doing after watching that video once again i'm trying it and um yeah the other ways that you could do for example one of which being just taking photos of yourself on uh, a basis that you agree with uh, with yourself whether it be an everyday basis or a weekly basis or a bi-week a fortnightly basis i was going to say bi bi-weekly that is a word but yeah a fortnightly basis i say um i watch a video from somewhere on YouTube and um, they said to actually or not said to track, uh, to take photos of yourself every day in the mirror but that's, they said that's what they did and they showed the proof of that and that was a way that worked for them but personally I don't think it's something that I do at least for a while because I'm doing this now and if I want to if I do want to do that to track my body composition then I definitely can, the options there. I definitely have more than en enough photos to be able to track and see if I'm making the progress I wanna make. That would mean my my camera would be really filled up, but it's definitely something that I can do. Now, I'm gonna make all of this information relevant to the video because it's seeing it's a food log. Nutrition obviously has a part to play in that and 
The reason why I said all of that to begin with is to say that although I've been eating uh, seemingly the same amount also, I am seeing decre decreases in my body weight and that's what I want. I want to be able to get down to a point where I can see my body fat or well, my abs again. I can see my body fat and I always will be able to until the day I pass away on the premise that I get to keep my eyesight throughout my life. But um, yeah, I was, what I meant to say was I'd like to be able to see my abs again in light in the lighting, the bathroom, uh, the bathroom lighting. I'd like to get to that weight and that weight for me personally with my body composition that I had back then, November last year was 70 kg or lighter. I got to around 70 kg, but I didn't go further than that by going to 69 kg or lighter. I, I did not do that, but I think if I did, I'd see that I'd be able to see my abs more, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm living health healthily and it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm strong. It just means that that is my weight and I, in fact, if I did take it too far, could be setting myself up for health issues, but not through overweightness or obesity, but through anorexia. I was going to say anemia. That's not right, I don't think. When I think of anemic, I, I think of when I'm talking about food, like jollof rice being more white than it is orange due to the lack of stew content on the rice but yeah i think that's just the the appropriate word was anorexic for sure anyway um i don't want either so i'm not going to set myself up for either i'm just going to keep on tracking my uh, my weight on a daily basis and use that to keep on managing it with looking at myself in the mirror every day and it will be easier to live more healthy as i um have money coming which seems might happen which seems like it might happen very soon with these job empl uh, employers that i've got that i'm speaking to at the moment oh yeah still going fine yeah i'll be going out my way to buy my own food and well technically it wouldn't be my food it would be from the supermarket but it would be in my possession and um i'll further take it from there it being improving my nutrition of course and um, to be fair, now I think about it, I could try and, or not could try, but I could go out my way to track calories with all of the food that I'd be eating. I don't think I would, I don't, I don't think I want to at the moment. And it's definitely not a necessity because I could just simply eat less and then take it from there through tracking my weight. And also looking at my stomach and seeing that my I'm definitely not at a overweight BMI. I thought that'd help me being at that overweight BMI because I've seen people like uh, people on YouTube like grow through calisthenics now called high hybrid athlete. But if you type in growth through calisthenics, you'll see that channel JD and uh, also Ian Barr's Eagle. And I wanted to pick the weight that they said they were at. I wanted to get to that weight, and I did. That weight being 85 kg ish. I remember growing through calisthenics saying 80, he was 85 kg, and Ian Barnes Eagle saying he was 90 kg, he weighed 90 kg. And I thought because we were the same height, give or take, that would work for me. And although, in terms of getting to a physique that they've, they're at currently, or so it seem, seems um, like they're doing naturally, I don't know, but that's not to. Um, discredit the effort that they put into working on themselves anyway uh, I tried to get into that sort of weight in pursuit of looking like them and it didn't work out the first time around because of how I went about it so um, I'm going to go down cut and then bulk again but this time not so quickly I'll probably go to maybe 80kg uh, at max so I don't go haywire with eating too much like I, how I did with aiming at 85, if I go out my way to control it, or maybe even go to 75, then um, just keep on increasing and decreasing my, increasing my muscle uh, muscle mass and decreasing my body fat mass to an amount that's healthy. Um, just keep on going within that range. I can have people behind me, professional help, 
people who know more than me uh, behind my back, supporting me, which I want to do anyway. So I think that definitely would help. I could have um, get in touch with other PTs, which would be easy to which would be easy to do because I'd be working as a fitness coach and I'd be getting my level three personal training qualifications pretty soon. So I'd be working as a personal trainer and being a personal trainer. I'd just say um um I am not a personal trainer, I'm just me. But I'd have personal training qualifications and that would be a job role that I'd be taking on board, at least for now anyway, and then I'll keep on making the progress that I want to make in terms of career. I mean, selling those books, that's what I want to do, truthfully. I mean, that, I, I'm not going to like it at 100%, I don't think, because, I mean, I would have to take the self-employed part into account because I'd have to legally class myself as self-employed on the premise I want to sell the books legally, uh, online and that sort of stuff, for example, which I want to do, so... Yeah, I mean, I might like it, who knows, I might like be with taxes, as people say they don't like. I have no idea, because I have no idea of this reality. I haven't, um, it's not something that I've experienced. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely be going down the path I want to go down, and I definitely will not be holding back, it's something that I've been doing actually after having a um, serious conversation uh, a serious conversation with a couple of people and um, I noticed that even within family life all the way back to my adolescence when I'd say and I'll, I'd ask my parents if I could do a job whilst in school I asked for their permission to do what I wanted to do and I in my mind thought that the permission or what I wanted to do was taken away from me because of that when in reality, I definitely could have, especially when I um, was legally able to work without needing to ask or without needing my parents to confirm that that's fine. I definitely could have, but even still, I didn't because mentally I thought I needed that permission when in reality, I don't. And it's something that I can carry on um carry on doing that something being allow uh, giving myself empowerment basically giving myself the permission to do what I want to do give myself that um authority that I always had to be able to make my own decisions and take it from there obviously uh, well maybe not so obviously to other people but in my mind I think they did that because or strictly because of grades and they thought it was at a standard that they didn't uh, they didn't think they wanted to have because they thought it could have got worse maybe as I would have been doing school and the, uh, the job that I wanted to do just anything to have somebody coming in and get <sighs> having an, an income of some sort as I saw Nathaniel beside do it I was thinking yeah that would help because in his words like he said that um He would have more effective study hours when he had um, when he set aside less time to do it so I thought that would work for me as well but I didn't I did finish the clip here but because of the storage being full not everything was caught on camera so I'm just gonna show all of the notes that I wrote up um, which has what I wanted to say on there. In terms of me speaking though, that's it, I'm out. And cheers to working through such things, even when it's not expected, peace.